Okay, let's talk about a bit about the, uh, the, 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 the protocol, the, the headers, and, and some of the uh, insights of, of, of IPv6. Uh, all this presentation were done uh, uh, with the help of the project that uh, uh, LACNIC was part. It was called, or is called, Six Deploy. Well, the project ended, but uh, uh, the idea of the, of, of the goal of the project was to create material and to, uh, well, to create training material and to train people in, in, in IPv6. So uh, these uh, slides are, are, are from there. So the first, is let's go inside of the IP, uh, the IPv4 and IPv6 header. So when you have a, a, a packet of IPv6 or IPv4 packet, uh, this is wha wha what you will see. Uh, in this case is the IPv4 header. Uh, we have first, uh, the, fi the first field is the, the version. Uh, then we have the type of service, the total length of the packet, uh, the identifier, some flags, uh, the uh, information about the fragmentation. Uh, the protocol is the, the, well, the TTL, the time to live of the packet. Then we, we have the, the protocol of the upper layer. It could, could be a TCP, for example, or UDP. And then we have the source address, destination address, and also we have some options there. That uh, uh, there are some uh, options defined by the ITF that uh, it's th they are there to put uh, more information about the packet. So routers or end hosts, they can take uh, or they can look up uh, that information and uh, and do a special uh, treatment to the to, to the packet. Uh, the uh, Think about option is that uh, routers, uh, they have to inspect uh, every packet and they have to inspect the, the, the option. So it's not a, a very um, um, efficient because routers, they, well, they need to move packets very, very quickly. And uh, because they have to look on the options, uh, it might be a bit uh, a extra work for them. So basically, uh, the IPv6 uh, um, uh, packet, uh, it took away uh, options. As you can see, there are not there are not options anymore. There is there is something that we call uh, ex extensions headers. So it's, there are extensions uh, for the headers. But let's uh, go back a bit to the to, to the packet. Uh, we have the, the version of the of the, of the, of, of, of the uh, protocol. In this case, will be six. We have the traffic class that is 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 to uh, well to add some quality of service uh, uh, to the packet. Uh, then we have the, the flow level. Basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ID that will identify a connection or a flow of, of, of information. Uh, right now, the flow level doesn't, it is it, it, not being uh, very uh, widely used. In fact, there is a, 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 a draft in the ITF that tries to uh, give uh, uh, the flow level some, some, some use, basically for, for load balancers in, in, in web traffic or well for, for load balancing of, 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 of service. Uh, then we have the length of the, of the payload. Payload basically what, what the packet contains, the information that the packet contains. And then we have a point uh, to the next header. Uh, uh, then we, we have the, 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 the hub limit, and then we have the source address and the destination address. And then we will have the, uh, the, the, the extension that basically uh, there are like the options. But uh, the difference is that extensions, uh, they are not processed by routers. Just the hop by hop uh, extension is the only one that uh, routers take a, take a look at it. Um, the rest of, of, of them, uh, they are just for end hosts. So routers, they don't need to check that and make IPv6 a bit faster. I wouldn't say that it's, it's, it's faster or, or slower. But for routers, it's a bit easier to process those packets because they don't have to inspect the options because uh, there is no need for that. So the only uh, end users, uh, uh, end hosts, sorry, uh, check those those extensions. Those extensions, well, we will see some examples. Uh, what are they they use for? Uh, one of the extension is precisely uh, the header of the upper uh, protocol. In this case, it could be TCP, UDP, or any other protocol of the, of the upper layers. So we have uh, these uh, uh, optional ex uh, optional extensions that basically, as 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 as, as, as I mentioned, is a, a mechanism to uh, replace uh, the IPv4 
uh, options. Uh, in this case, uh, well, they are not processed by routers, and uh, it helps, uh, for example, uh, fr to fragment a packet. It helps to add security. It helps to add uh, some other information. So these are the uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the the extension header that we, we could have in, uh, in IPv6. Hop by hop, destination, routing, fragmentation, authentication, security, and the destination. And uh, the last one uh, is going to be the upper layer protocol. So uh, you cannot, uh, for example, put the upper layer protocol first. It has to be in the last one, uh, which. Uh, also, having the upper layer protocol uh, sometimes may cause some, some uh, um, security problems when uh, you have to fragment a packet because uh, firewalls, for example, uh, they cannot inspect the, uh, uh, the whole header. Uh, well, they inspect the whole header, but the header is fragmented. So when the firewalls, they see that the packet is coming, they just see, uh, they don't know uh, which is the upper the upper layer protocol because it, it may come in in, in, in another in, in another header, which makes uh, more difficult the uh, the task for firewalls, for example, because they have to reassemble the whole connection uh, to check where uh, or which is the, the 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 upper layer protocol and to decide if if, if that packet has to be uh, allowed or 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 or, or rejected. And uh, because of that, uh, there are some discussions and discussions in the ITF what to do, uh, for, for example, to forbid fragmentation in IPv6. So there is there is no possibility to, to have uh, or, or make life easier for routers uh, and, and, and firewalls, or well, for routers that they have to do some inspection of traffic. Uh, another one is is to uh, um, uh, reduce or to uh, recommend a size of the of the uh, uh, the headers the headers right now they can be as long as they they, they want to be there is no the, the, the you can have several uh, uh, headers and uh, there is not a restriction on the, on, on, on the limit of the packet uh, so one of the option is well to reduce that uh, so the router they, they just need or firewall they they, they know that the the information of the header is going to be I don't know in the first one and twenty eight uh, bytes, and if it's not there, they are allowed to project the the, the 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 connection. And another option is well to move that upper layer uh, header to the beginning of the packet so the firewalls they can expect that they are there. So these are the the the, the, the things that uh, were designed in the middle nineties. Uh, the protocol was, was designed in 90, 90, 90 something uh, the, in the late nineties, but then we are evolving the protocol. We are starting using a lot of IPv6, and then we realize of this uh, uh, implementation or, or, or operational issues. So the protocol is, is, is even though it's, it's, it has been defined uh, or it, it was defined 13, 14 years ago. Uh, it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a, 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 a live protocol, and every day you will see. A draft in the ITF trying to resolve these this, this operational uh, issues that, that we may have with, uh, with IPv6. So as, uh, well as I said, uh, only the hop by hop is, is uh, processed by, by every router, and the rest uh, is just processed by uh, destination. So this is an example of what you uh, uh, have in uh, 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 this change or this chain of, 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 of headers. In this case, we have the IPv6 header and the next header uh, points to TCP. So this is the will be the, the, the upper layer protocol. And then we will have TCP header uh, plus uh, data. But for example, if we want to uh, have a, another uh, header there, we will have the IPv6 packet the, the, the header of the of the uh, of the IPv6 that is the, the source and destination and, and, and all the, the information that we see and the next header will point for example a routing so we will have our header of routing with all the information there and it will have another pointer to the next header that in this case it could be a uh, TCP for example if, you, if we will need to fragment this packet 
uh, of the, it, it will be fragmented. Uh, the first header in this case will be routing again. Uh, routing will point to the next one that is, is, is gonna be a, fra a fragment header saying that, well, this is a fragmented packet. And the next one, uh, it will point to the, to the TCP header and then the data of the, of, of the protocol. So this, this, this is very clever. It's a, a, a very good mechanism. Uh, it replaces options. Uh, in options, you always have to carry uh, uh, the, that piece of, 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 of information in the, in, the, in, the, in the IPv4 packet, even though you don't need it or you don't use it. In IPv6, if we don't need a header, we just don't use it, uh, uh, and it has not to be there. If we need a header, well, you, we just put it there and we change that header, well, we, 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 with the other ones that, that, that we need. So this is, this is very efficient also because routers, they don't have to, to check all the, 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 the headers. They only have to check some of them and uh, not every packet will have it. Uh, uh, with IPv4 options, you have to check all of them. So, so in, my, in my opinion, it was a, a, a very uh, clever mechanism. It has this, their, um, their uh, complexities, like, like in this case, this fragment header uh, for example, a router or a, or a firewall, if they want to inspect the information that is, is, is there to allow or deny uh, the packet, they will need to, to verify all this, uh, all this information, all the headers up, up to uh, reaching the, the, the TCP header to decide if, if allow it or uh, allow or denying the, 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 uh, the, the packet. And if it, the packet is fragmented, they have to reassemble in order to uh, check that information. So there are some complexities, but uh, as, as I said, the ITF is working on uh, uh, make it uh, much simpler the life of, of, of operators in, in, in that sense. So it's a, it's, a, it's a live protocol and we are changing some of the specifications. This is just the, uh, I, um, uh, an example that, uh, well, not uh, just only, well, in IPv4, every, every router has to process uh, the, the, the options. But in IPv6, uh, only uh, there are some only headers that they will check, and the rest uh, they will uh, verif verify just by the um, the uh, end, end, end host. So basically, it's, 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 it's very simple. This is how the insights of IPv6 uh, works. Uh, the next uh, part that I want to show you uh, this 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 tutorials that are break. Uh, they are bro it, it is broken in different um, presentations. The next one is about addressing. So these are the RFCs that define uh, the IPv6 addressing. Uh, basically, uh, the address that you will see in your computer, the address that we have seen, uh, they are called uh, global unicast uh, address because they are for connection, unicast connections is one to one, they are not multicast. Uh, the basics we have covered, 28, one and 28 bit long, so we there, there are a lot of, of, of addresses. And the notation is what we call the CIDR notation, that is classless interdomain routing. And uh, in before, we have the two notations. We have uh, a, an address, and then we, ca we, we can specify the CIDR notation, for example, a slash 24, or we can use a net mask, but basically is, 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 is uh, for example, I well, it's, it's, a, it's a, a sequence of ones, uh, or zeros that give us the, the mask or, uh, of, of, of that address. Uh, normally, well, you will see it like 255.255.255.0, uh, for example. But in, in V6, that will be very complex, and, and the side of notation is much, much simpler. It basically, it, uh, it tells us the numbers of ones that you will have in a mask. So basically, it, it, it's, it's, it's like that. Uh, also, it's a hexadecimal representation. Uh, 
And uh, as, as, as Owen said, uh, interfaces uh, may have several IP, IPv6 addresses. Uh, you will see that uh, IPv6 address, they can be uh, very, very, very long. Uh, but uh, we will see that also uh, you can reduce uh, the number of zeros uh, to make it a bit uh, shorter, uh, shorter and, 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 and easy to, 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 to read. Also, we have uh, different uh, um, uh, uh addresses. So we have the global, the like uh, uh, the global, the public uh, IPv4 addresses. We have also some 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 addresses that are called link local. That they basically they will be uh, generated by your interface, and it will be only used to connection in the in the in the in the link local. So it it, 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 it won't pass uh, a router. So uh, those addresses are, are useful uh, for, the, um, for the computer or the node well, to request a, 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 an IP address uh, from the DHCP or to, get the, or to generate the address uh, with um, a stateless auto configuration. Uh, we have a, a unique local uh, address that is EULA that uh, is like the analogous is Similar, I wouldn't say that it's, it's, it's the same because it's not the same. They have very different uh, to the uh, private uh, IPv4 addresses, the, the, the 192.168.00, the 10.000.0, etc. Uh, it, it, the ULAs are like that, but uh, they are not exactly a private address can be used as private address, but they are not exactly as, as, as private addresses. And then we have the IPv6 map, and uh, there are a couple of there that we don't use anymore, the site local and the IP, IPv4 compatible, there are deprecated. And uh, we have, a, well, those are for unicast, then we have the, the multicast, that is a, a one to many. And then we, we have the anycast, that is the one to the nearest. Uh, this concept of uh, anycast it was later uh, borrowed uh, by IPv4, and for example, right now it's very used uh, for DNS. So you have the same address of a DNS uh, advertised uh, from many places. So you will re uh, reach that address, uh, or you will reach that node uh, uh, using the, the, the shortest path. So it's, it's, it's a very uh, clever way to uh, distribute a service and to pro uh, well and to have a resiliency because if one of those nodes they fails you are automatically routed to the to, to the other nearest one so uh, that uh, the the Enicas born with a v6 but then we adopted uh, for v4 uh, in this case uh, this Enicas is also uh, used for uh, for services like uh, a DNS or DHCPs or some other uh, information that are not very used in, in, in that sense in, in, in IPv6, but it's all, all one of the capabilities that we can uh, have. And um, this is the example of an IPv6 address and how we can uh, compress that address. So we have in this case a lot of uh, zeros. For example, we have uh, uh, 2001 uh, colon 0 db8 blah, 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 blah. Uh, and we have some zeros here and some zeros there uh, between all, all these. So this is a, a, a very long address, uh, but we can start compressing this by eliminating all the zeros that we have uh, to, the, to, to the left. So all the zeros that are in red, we just can, we, we can omit them. So we, there is no need to, 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 to write them. So that will be like, uh, like, 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 like we will erase, and that will be the address that, uh, that we have there, so without the zeros. But also we can see that we have uh, a, a long uh, change of zeros over there. We have a, a zero, 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 colon, zero, zero, zero. Uh, we can also, we can uh, omit that. So when you see the colon, colon, it means that there are a trail of zeros in between. Uh, obviously, uh, you will imagine, well, what happened if I have zeros here and zeros there? Can I like uh, uh, compress both? 
No, you can't. You just can't do it once. So you have to choose which, which one uh, you want to choose, uh, uh, compress, because you cannot compress both. In this case, the compression works because we know that the ha this has to be a uh, one and 28 bit long. So even though that the zeros are not there, when the computers or the, uh, the, the, the network devices uh, reconstruct that one, they know how many zeros are there because, well, it has to be one, uh, uh, 128. But if you compress it twice, there is no way to know how many zeros are in one and how many zeros are, are in, in the other. So that's why you can compress the zeros here, but then you cannot compress it twice. So, but it's a very, uh, a very good way uh, to uh, describe IPv6 addresses because sometimes uh, if you have the, the, the uh, a, a good address, you, your IPv6 address could be very, very, very short, probably even shorter than a, 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 an a V6, sorry, an a V4 uh, address. Uh, the other one is the IPv6 map uh, notation. So uh, it's, 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 it's not like a, a, a translation. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a, a way to uh, a do notation with, uh, with B4 and B6. The literal representation is when you want to uh, access a website or a service using an IPv6 address. Uh, in uh, uh, before, for example, if you have www.lagnic.net, uh, you can access that uh, by, the, uh, by, uh, by its IP address. And uh, for the browser, it's very, very easy to know uh, because you have numbers there and you have uh, dots there. It's very easy to know that it's a, 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 an address. In this case of, uh, of before B6, we have two problems. One, that we have letters there for the hexa hexadecimal. So a browser may think that uh, it's, it's, it's a domain name because it, 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 it might be hard to recognize it. The other thing is that in, in, in HTTP, for example, and some other protocols, we use the colon to uh, refer to the port, for example. So if we are uh, accessing uh, port 80, well, the port 80 is, is automatically there, so we don't have to put it. But for example, if you are accessing port 8080, so you will put the IP address, colon, uh, 8080. In this case, there is no way the, for, for, for the browser or the application to know if that colon is a, is a, is a port or is, a, a, or, or is that a domain name or is a, 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 an address. So what we do is to use the square brackets to represent a literal, uh, a, the literal representation or a, a, an IPv6 address. So in this case, we have a, 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 an example for example, HTTP, we have the address uh, uh, enclosed in square brackets, and then we, well, we have the, the, the URL. So basically, is a, um, a, a how we represent uh, or how we use uh, uh, an IP address to access uh, uh, an application. Uh, these are some uh, special addresses. Uh, the first one is the unspecified, so it will be represented by a trail of zeros and uh, nothing more than that. So it's, it's, it's just zeros. That's uh, it represented by the two columns slash 128. And uh, uh, if you know, in before we have the loopback that is like an internal address that we have in, in, in our computer. Uh, and it's represented by uh, 170, 170, no, 127, uh, .0.0.1. In the case of IPv6, that loopback is just zeros and uh, a one. So basically it's colon, colon, one. So instead of writing uh, one, uh, a, a, a change, a chain of, of, of zeros, we just write, uh, write uh, colon, colon, one. Also, uh, we have the multicast addresses that are represented, or they start uh, by FF00 slash eight. So all the space in multicast uh, start with that FF. So uh, if you see an FF, uh, is is not a, a unicast address, it's, it's a, a, a multicast address. Also the link local, that are these uh, um, uh, addresses that are generated by your browser, sorry, by your computer, uh, they are in the space of the FE80. 
so a slash 10. So all the addresses will be I I I in that space. And then we have the UL ULAs or the ULAs, uh, and there are two, uh, two blocks. Uh, each one is a slash 8. In this case, the main block that is uh, later it will be divi uh, is divided later uh, is for FC00 colon colon 7. So uh, you will when ev every time that you see an FC uh, or an FD uh, uh, address is, 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 a, is a EULA and is basically a private uh, or, or, or an internal address. And then the rest is, is, is glo global uh, unicast. Then we have the IPv6 map and uh, the site local and IPv4 compatible that are not used anymore. Uh, right now, as, as, as also as uh, 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 Owen point out and, 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 and some other presentation point out, we have just allocated a li little tiny part of the IPv6 uh, space. Uh, the rest is still reserved. And you will see that all the global Unicast address, they start uh, with, uh, uh, or they are in that block, the uh, 2000 uh, colon colon slash uh, 3. Uh, basically, if you see uh, uh, an address that start with a 7 or an 8, uh, probably shouldn't be there because it's not uh, it's not uh, yet allocated. So we right now we are using uh, all the addresses that are allocated by Yana and later by the uh, Internet uh, uh, Regional Registry and in that space of the two zero zero slash three. Let's say, uh, I'm gonna, I have an example of how, uh, how a, 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 a host may obtain a, 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 an, I, an IPv6 address uh, before going to this. Um, So in uh, before, uh, when a host want uh, uh, to obtain a, 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 a B4 address, uh, you can manually uh, or you can configure it uh, statically, uh, manually, or you can get the, um, the address uh, by DHCP. In B6, as Owen also mentioned, uh, we have two, uh, um, two uh, uh, ways of getting an address. One is the stateless auto configuration and the other is the stateful auto configuration, basically DHCP. Uh, so in the um, stateless auto configuration, uh, your uh, computer sends a, a, a request to get the prefix of, of, of the network, and it will auto-generate uh, its address uh, by uh, using the MAC address, for example. Uh, there are some other mechanisms that are discussed in, uh, in the ITF uh, to not use the, the, the MAC address, to use, for example, a cryptographic, uh, um, uh, a cryptographic function, so you will have a random I IP adder, IPv6 address every time you connect a, a different IPv6 address. And there are also the privacy IPv6 address, uh, or the privacy extension. So your IPv6 address, uh, it will change for, for remote connections every I don't know, every one hour or every three hours, it depends on the operating system. So it will be very difficult to track you using the MAC address, because right now, if you use the MAC address, uh, you always have the same, or, or, or one part of the IPv6 address, it will be the same, because it's, 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 it's the MAC address. So to avoid to have that privacy, privacy concerns, there are the cryptographically generated and the IPv6 address uh, with uh, privacy extensions. Uh, but basically, well, when you use a stateless auto configuration, uh, the node uh, will obtain the IPv6 prefix, uh, the default router, so the gateway, uh, the hub limit, uh, the link uh, local MTU, the maximum transfer unit of that link, and how, 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 uh, how for how long is, is, is valid. But there is a 
very important part of information that is not there and your computer will need in order to work. That is the DNS. So there were a lot of arguing in the ITF for the last 10 years or pr probably more to include or not the DNS in the, in the, in the router advertisement. Uh, there were really, really a lot of fights, but eventually a uh, few years ago, uh, it was accepted that uh, the, uh, um, the router could give you a, 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 a DNS, uh, uh, the DNS information. Uh, not all uh, the, um, the, the routers, uh, the router software support uh, giving you the uh, DNS, uh, but the most modern, uh, they will be able to uh, give you the DNS. In the past, that means that if you want DNS information, you will need to run the router advertisement and the DHCP. So right now, well, you cannot, you, you, are, you, do, you are not required to run the HCP version, uh, version six uh, because uh, the routers can give you that information. But definitely it's part of the complexities that you may encounter when you configure uh, IPv6 in, in, in your network. So let's see an example. So this is, this is how this, the, this works. So you have uh, your computer with that MAC address, and then you have a, a, a router there in the, in the, in, in the internet. Uh, the router, as you can see, is listening in, in a multicast address. Is uh, you can recognize that it's a multicast address because it's, it's FF02 uh, colon colon two. So that that means that that address is used for all the routers to listen traffic. So they will listen that infor information, and also the router has a, a link local uh, address, so they can communicate in the in the same uh, in the same uh, link. So basically what the host, the first thing that the host is doing is to convert that MAC address that has 48 bits to an address that we call a EUE64 address, uh, that it will be, well, 64 long. And uh, it will create a, 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 a link local address. So it will uh, uh, add the FE80 to that, uh, to that uh, uh, ID in, uh, or, or, or host ID and it will send a, a, a well. It check. It will check first if there is any other computer uh, with the same address. If there is no other computer with the same address, it will uh, send a router solicitation message asking for uh, network information. So the router will receive that and uh, will send uh, the address. Uh, well, the prefix. Uh, that the use that the um, that the host uh, uh, needs to 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 operate also say will send other information like uh, the gateway in this case uh, the example is the gateway and the uh, host it will with that information the host will create uh, their uh, address so this is was very very clever when they designed this in the 90s well, what they want to have is to have a serverless uh, service. But it was, this is not useful if you don't have the DNS. So is that part of the IPv6 that you said, oh, well, this is clever because uh, I, don't need a, a, I don't need a router and a, and a DHCP. I just need that the router can do everything. Yeah, but the router cannot do any, everything because right now, uh, at least in this example, is not giving the, 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 the DNS. So while he's constructing all the, uh, the well, to finish the example, he's constructing all the, the gateway information and is ready to, to work. Uh, but the, as, as, as we said, uh, in this case, it's not receiving uh, the DHCP, uh, sorry, the DNS. Right now, with the new specification of the protocol, it's, it's, it's possible. So why, if you have uh, the router advertisement and uh, uh, you are already may have uh, the DNS with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the router advertisement, why do you need uh, DHCP? Well, basically, because in, 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 in the 
eh, stateless autoconfiguration or slack, eh, you don't have control of the IP address that the user is, is getting. The, basically, the user is choosing an address and is using an address. But in some environments, I would think that the enterprise environments, eh, um, you need to eh, keep track of, of, of the user IP address. Eh, so in that case, eh, you will use eh, DHCP version 6. Eh, that basically it works not very different than uh, DHCP uh, version 4. Uh, this is defined in these uh, uh, RFCs. Uh, and uh, uh, it allows you, uh, well, to specify an IP address uh, for the users. Uh, instead of uh, using a broadcast as in, uh, in B4, basically in B4, uh, the host sent a, a broadcast asking for an address. Uh, in, in, B in B6, uh, we have two uh, uh, multicast address. One is the uh, DHCP all servers, and all is the DHCP relay agents and servers. So uh, one is used when uh, you have the DHCP in the same, uh, sub, uh, in the same network. But uh, as you may know, uh, we just want to have one DHCP. So we need to pass that broadcast uh, in before from the router to, to, to the DHCP, so the router encapsulated that broadcast in unicast and send it to the DHCP. Uh, that's called a, a, a relay agent. Uh, so uh, the relay agent in B6 doesn't listen in, a, in, in, in broadcast, also listen in a, in a, in a, in a multicast uh, address. So basically, same as, a, as, a, as a before, we have a client, and a, well, I explain what is a relay uh, agent. In this case, uh, this is the case when the, uh, the, the host already has an, IP, uh, an IPv6 address because it was auto-generated by, by, by Slack, uh, but uh, it needs to uh, request the, uh, the DNS. So basically, it will send a packet uh, to the DHCP asking for the DNS address. that again, okay, then the host will send the request. Oh, sorry. And then the host configure the DNS. So, uh, in general, the uh, two types of configuration complement each other. Uh, this has been evolving. Uh, right now, you can have a, 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 a network with only a, a router advertisement uh, because you can give uh, you can uh, give the DNS information with a, a router advertisement. Uh, but probably there are some other information that you want to include, like, uh, I don't know, NTP or any other uh, information, probably a, a directory service, something like that, that you cannot give with a, uh, with a, a router advertisement, so you have to use DHCP. Uh, so if you want to uh, use DHCP version 6, uh, you also need to, um, to uh, to use our uh, router advertisement because uh, router advertisement, uh, sorry, uh, DHCP version six won't give you the gateway. So this is kind of the the uh, the things that uh, we are still working in in, 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 in the in the ITF uh, because some people are claiming that uh, there is no need of a router advertisement if you want to use DHCP because DHCP should allow you to give you routing and, and, and DNS and some other information. So right now, if you want to use DHCP, you have to use router advertisement as well because DHCP doesn't give you the gateway information. So it, it's, it's, it's a bit complex, but, uh, but, but it's the way uh, things are, 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 are working now. But uh, um, we are trying to improve the, 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 the protocol. There are some discussions in the ITF to uh, modify DHCP version 6 in order to give you a uh, routing information so uh, um, you can uh, uh, um, 
uh, use just uh, DHCP version 6, 6 and not to use uh, router advertising. Uh, in the uh, uh, software, uh, there are many implementations of, 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 uh, of DHCPs. Uh, Microsoft, uh, Bind, uh, they have different versions supporting uh, DHCP version 6. Uh, in the operating system, uh, there is still uh, a bit immature. Uh, I would believe that uh, the recent uh, versions of Mac uh, OS support uh, well uh, uh, DHCP version 6, but uh, if I'm correct, uh, Snow Leopard uh, doesn't support uh, DHCP, version, uh, DHCP version 6. And uh, I'm not sure about uh, Linux. I will imagine that the la latest versions of our distribution on Linux supported. Uh, Windows, uh, only Vista and, and uh, well, Windows 7 and now Windows 8 support uh, DHCP version 6. Uh, Windows, uh, uh, Windows XP doesn't support it. Uh, so there is some complexities, uh, operational complexities. Uh, normally, what we uh, normally do is to use a uh, router advertisement. Uh, if we can't, uh, we support uh, DHCP version 6 to uh, deploy or to send uh, information from DNS. And if not possible, uh, we use the DNS that is like the last resort uh, configuration is to use the DNS in B4. So it uh, doesn't matter if you have the DNS in B4, there is no problem because still your computer will communicate in, 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 in B6. We will see an example because sometimes this uh, is, is difficult to understand. Like, uh, okay, how? Uh, I have my DNS in B4, but I can still connect in B6? Yes, you can. And, and we will see an example uh, a, a bit later uh, how, how this is possible uh, to work when, the, uh, when we come back to the, um, to uh, from launch. Uh, I, 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 we, will, well, we will talk about DNS, and then I will start running some examples here in my computer so you maybe uh, understand a bit better how this is possible to, well, to have DNS in B4 and to communicate in B6. And also I'll explain you uh, how uh, it is possible for your computer to uh, work in B6 and B4. So one question that you pro probably know, uh, you, 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 uh, one question that you probably have is, okay, I have my computer in dual stack with B4 and B6. How does it know what address to use, B4 or B6? What is the algorithm? So uh, I would let you to think about, uh, about that in, uh, uh, during the launch. And uh, when we come back, I will tell you how the, 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 the notes are, are, are doing that.